Okay, so I've had a couple of clients that um, have had this issue with their computers. Um, so far it's only affecting computers that were on like Windows 7 and were upgraded to Windows 10 or Windows 8 and upgraded to 10. After the 1803 update, basically it loads up to your desktop and you really can't do anything. Um, it comes up with this error message here and it pretty much renders the computer about useless. Uh, brings up a blank desktop. Uh, there are no apps down here and you can't get the start menu to open. So what we're going to do is um, I've created a bootable Windows 10 copy. Okay so we're going to boot into Windows and here we are with the desktop that is pretty much useless. Um, I have the USB uh, media with Windows 10 Pro. Well, actually, it's just Windows 10. I downloaded from the, the link that I'll leave in the description. Um, so we're going to push the Windows R keys. I'm going to go ahead and go to type in task MGR and then hit OK. Okay, so once the task manager is open, we can click on File, Run New Task, click on Browse, and here we will actually browse to the uh, USB disk that we have and we're going to double click the setup.exe click OK okay so this is going to start loading up our USB installation media for Windows 10 Okay, so for now I'm going to choose not right now for getting the updates and I'm going to unselect the want to help make the Windows installation better. Okay, so it's going to run through the check. One really important note that I forgot to mention, um, the install updates were actually hanging at 84% because I couldn't join the Wi-Fi. So I plugged in an Ethernet cable to make sure that I had internet connection because it, it needed internet to finish the rest of the install. Okay, so after it runs through the checks, it's basically going to go ahead and choose to do the upgrade. It's going to keep all the apps, all, all the data and everything, so we're just going to go ahead and click install. And we'll come back in a little while. We're just going to let this run. So this is just a quick check-in showing that this is 31% of the way through, so we'll check back in a few. Alright, so the computer's restarting here after doing the update, so we'll see what happens once it comes back up. Okay, so right after the reboot, it's just uh, working on finishing the updates, so we'll let these finish up and try to log in once they're done. Okay, so everything just finished up, um, and as you can see here, we're booted into Windows. We actually have all of our apps. Um, everything appears to be working. Um, you know, I've got an active internet connection. Um, everything is here, so before it was just a black desktop with basically it, nothing was working. Um, so the things you're going to need to do, um, you're going to have to follow the link in the description to make a bootable um, USB to install Windows. Um, really important note, the link that I'll put will lead you to where you can go ahead and set that up right from Microsoft's website. Um, this is the it has the 1803 version. Um, you're going to have to make sure that that's the copy that was installed, and you'll know that because see this little icon right here. Um, this task view icon looks a lot different. If yours doesn't look like that, you don't have the 1803 update, and the 1803 install on Windows will not work. So what happens is the 1803 update was kind of like halfway installed and it wouldn't actually boot into Windows. It just was kind of stuck in the middle. It wouldn't finish the update. So having uh, the 1803 full version of Windows on here, what it allows you to do is run that install and it'll finish the install. So that was the error that was happening. So this way we didn't have to reset or refresh the PC and uninstall all of the apps. Um, so the, the two important notes are make sure that you get the correct version 1803 installed on a USB drive you're going to need that and um, make sure that you're plugged into Ethernet 
um, because I couldn't get connected to the internet because nothing worked. I could click on nothing and it, and it wouldn't allow me to connect to Wi-Fi. So uh, basically, I definitely had to have this active ethernet connection because once you install Windows, it still has to go through and do it updates after it reboots and it was hanging at 84% for me. So I found the trick was to uh, plug into ethernet. But as you can see, I've got a working computer now. I'm able to uh, browse the web and everything. Um, be patient because it may take, you know, it took me the better part of an entire day figuring this out and running into issues. And this is a very slow laptop. Um, so you, you may have to be patient with it and, you know, um, give it a day if you have to. But at least we have the working computer and that'll be it. Thanks for watching.